I was I was in the January that I was in Cyprus for New Year's. I was I was going to the beach like three times in January. Please stop! Please stop! Uh, Let's <laughs> beach. Come on. Uh, yeah. Cyprus was also awarded and for the cleanest beaches in Europe. We have like the cleanest waters, and that's great. Wherever you go, you're gonna see like imagine like water crystal clear water. <laughs> well, that's not a that's fact it. that's gonna bring people in. I don't know what else. Beaches <laughs> and clean water, great. Hello, Eva. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing today? I'm very good. I'm so excited. We've been talking about this for some time now, and I think it's time to talk about Cyprus. It's time <laughs> to talk about Cyprus. So well put. And to be fair, it, it was it was really, really a coincidence because we joined a Zoom call together. And then you started sharing some history about Cyprus. And I'm like, oh my God, this is curious. I feel I need to bring you in. So that's why you're here. You're going to tell us all about Cyprus because straight away, I understood your knowledge, Bo. And from before that, I knew you were a great person. So you're a perfect fit for the podcast. So um, before you. we begin, before we begin talking about Cyprus, I'm curious mm -hmm. as well. I'm sure the guests as well to know about you. So where you, you know we know we're from Cyprus. Where are you living now? Yeah. What's life like? And what's the crack, Eva? What's the crack? It's a lot to be honest. It's a lot. Uh, I've I've been busy. I'm trying to be busy in my life in general. And um, so I'm originally from Cyprus, born and raised. I'm also half Greek, and currently oh. I'm in Serbia. <laughs> Next week I'm gonna be in Greece. So I can live stream from like a beach there in Crete. That'll be great. <laughs> yeah, here is so um, hot in, in London. We're only missing the sea. It's so hot. Wow. We, we have the rest. We just need the sea. I can't imagine like countries like Northern. I used to live in Norway. And when it's hot, it's just hot. You cannot do yeah. anything. You, you know, can you escape. can't just jump in the sea, you know, or anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited. We actually met through NASA Academy and we started to chat and we, yeah. we realized we have many things in common and with traveling and everything. And I guess Cyprus is a little bit of a gray area for you. <laughs> and for many people uh, actually so it is it is a great area yeah then that's that's the thing because small countries you know no offense but i think cyprus qualifies as a small country is it true it is it, it, it is, is true small okay country. so small countries are <laughs> often overlooked even if they have c you know if they have c maybe there's extra point okay maybe it's, you know people's gonna mm -hmm. get it. but small countries are often overlooked so people often will prefer greece because more popular, bigger, yeah. more islands, all this and this and that, rather than Cyprus. So I would really yeah. like to know more, like how are you going to intrigue us about Cyprus? Right, before before that, I, okay, you didn't, you yeah, didn't sure, share sure, much. Sure. Hold on, before that, you didn't share much about you. <laughs> Tell me something, a curious fact about you. One something, so just one thing, one thing, curious thing. Wow us with, your fact, wow. with the fact about you. Wow. Well, no, I, I didn't have time to think about that. I was searching all those facts about Cyprus and didn't think of a fact about me. <laughs> um, right. Oh my God, wow. I can say I, I used to play volleyball. <laughs> and I was the official photographer of volleyball and beach volleyball in Cyprus at the age of 16. Okay, volleyball wasn't something <laughs> wow, but official photographer for volleyball. Okay, we can can you can we take that right down in the chat because this is the first time, by the way, we're live on Twitch, we're live on Instagram, live as well. This is the first time we're um, I'm live streaming so many platforms at the same time. So great, <laughs> right down in the chat. Is this acceptable as a curious fact that she was a photographer? Right down in the chat, let us know. Okay, let's begin with Cyprus. First thing I'm curious about, yes. uh, because you know history as well. Uh, I'm going to share my screen and just show where Cyprus is for everybody who doesn't know. But first thing I'm curious about is uh, some history about Cyprus. Can you start us over there? I can do. Can I have a look at my note as well? Oh, <laughs> I was actually I was actually talking with my mom and I was like, okay, mom, I have this like talk about Cyprus. I need to prepare some like actual facts okay, and history stuff. So like help me out here. Um, okay, is your, like is, you is your mother to... is your mother around? Maybe we should bring her here in as well. I think she. I, I'm sure she's watching with my dad. If you see, <laughs> I see him there. Okay. I think he. Hi, mom and dad. Hi, mom and dad. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yes. So so basically, you have somebody so who's, who's watching out, watching out for your mistakes, right? So no pressure, no pressure. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh so my Cyprus. god. Yeah. Yeah. So I can start with saying like they found people in Cyprus from 10,000 years ago. So they are archaeologists found like a 
uh, some bones or anything like that exists from that time. So history in Cyprus starts actually quite in the past. And and if I'm not mistaken, the second millennium, the Greeks uh, came first to Cyprus. That's why we speak Greek. Fun fact: Cyprus speaks Greek. We have a yeah. Cypriot dialect, which in, in okay, in order to understand, for example, we have Arabic, which is the main language. But in Morocco, they speak a different dialect. You can understand, like okay. Moroccans can understand Arabic, but like Egyptians can really understand Moroccans. That's the same situation with like Cypriot dialect and Greek, <laughs> okay. which is a little Cypriot, bit funny. Cypriot dialect, you mean Cypriot is in a way a dialect of Greek language. Is that what you mean? Yes, we don't have an official own language. We have a Cypriot dialect. Okay, and but, another well, fun fact about but you yeah. said you said yeah. that people were already there, and then the Greek came. Yes. So what language did you speak? I, I, guess, I guess they, I guess they can't find the connection between that time. <laughs> I see. It's a long okay. time ago. I guess it's a long time ago. Uh, but the, but after that, but another thing also about the relationship of Cyprus and and Greece, we have like a very strong bond. And if you watch Eurovision, you can understand that we always exchange twelve points between each other. Oh, but we really? also share friendly, the same. Friendly, yeah, take my points, Greece. Oh, it's, okay. it's a, it's a, Greece is our mother country, so yeah, it's this kind of relation. We have the same national anthem as well. Like wait, we wait, have hold the on. Same... you have the same national anthem? <laughs> yes, people don't is know that, that. Is that a precedent? We're not creative. We were not creative. I don't know why. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Hold on, I, yes. I never heard two countries having the same national an okay. anthem. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me take you through the history just a little bit. So you understand the background. Okay. Yes, just a little bit. Okay. So after Greeks, we had any country that you can ima imagine of, like from uh, Venetians, like so Italians to French and Ottomans and British, and then up and then up till the nineteenth century, uh, Great Britain bought Cyprus of the, the Ottomans in exchange of you know what you're gonna take ch uh, care of the island from the Russians until, you know, we are too far, we, we can't handle everything. So it was this kind of situation. So they just bought Cyprus. It was a horrible, terrible experience. And up until Cyprus, they say, okay, we cannot do this anymore. So they created uh, like a revolution and they created a team and they started fighting. It is called EOKA. And they started fighting the, the British and we actually succeeded in that. And, and from that time, until the 1960, 1960 is when Cyprus became independent country. Okay. So up until that point, we actually wanted to be part of Greece. We always wanted to be part of Greece. And right uh, around before the 1960s, they, they told us, uh, we, told, we said, okay, we want to be part of Greece. And then UK, Turkey, I don't even know if the US or anybody else said, no, you cannot do that. You can either be independent or under Turkish or under British occupation. Otherwise, you cannot let you do that. And we said, okay, we're gonna be independent. <laughs> so we became independent. Um, so I guess there, there wasn't much time to make a national anthem and, and all those kind of things. And there was no time. Yeah. <laughs> there was no time to create anthem. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. Yeah. So our first president was actually our archbishop. Yeah. So we didn't have like a politician. We had like a church person. That didn't go very well. Let's not go into that, but that didn't go very well. Okay. Um, and then Cyprus was free actually for just 14 years. That was like our peak. <laughs> and then in 1974, it was the Cypriot invasion. The, I'm sorry, the Turkish invasion in Cyprus, mm -hmm. uh, where Turkey just invaded Cyprus and took the 36% of the island. So like the northern part of the island. And still until today is under Turkish occupation. It's been 47 years now. And actually yesterday, 21st of July, was the the day of the of the invasion. Wow. What a day yeah, to record this a, podcast. What a day to record <laughs> a this podcast. rush history of Cyprus. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, okay, so Turkish are still so okay, you're sharing the same anthem with Greece, but at the same time, half yes. of the island, well not half, almost 40% is part of Turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it it's a sensitive issue and it's like a, a serious a giant issue that 
yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's still happening today, and we still have troubles until today. Like actually, these days, Erdogan was in in Cyprus, and like they're trying to open up a part of Cyprus that is under UN occupation, so just the military of UN can be there. So right now it's called Varosha, and they're trying to open up that part under Turkish occupation. And Erdogan said, yeah, we're just gonna open up the place and fix it a little, a little bit and use it. So that means that people who used to live there cannot. <laughs> it's it's a mess. It's 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 a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. You know, when you're telling me about these things, I'm still thinking about Balkan history. You know, if anybody's feeling like, yeah. okay, I'm really good at history, go study some Balkan history because. <laughs> You know, you think like this country is my friend, then they backstab each other, then you took my territories, give it back. Like yeah. it is like really difficult. Just before uh, mm-hmm. the First World War, you know, there are Balkan Wars, the First World War, Second World uh, War, really, really a mess. Um, but yeah. it's, it's so strange how things are happening with Cyprus now. So in the Turkish mm-hmm. part, are there yeah. Turkish people living so there? We, we, we do not want to call it Turkish part. So we want to, okay. uh, so we want to call it occupied side, Turkish occupied, occupied side. side. Okay. Uh, they want to call themselves Northern Cyprus and they tried to make a country out of it. And they also have their own flag, which is the Turkish flag inverted. So it's wide with a red uh, moon and a star. Uh, and they have their it's getting own more complicated. Which we, we call it a uh, fake president, pseudo president. And the, yes. Um, so, yeah, in, in order to go, okay, so as a Cypriot, if you want to go to the occupied, occupied site, you need to show your passport. Yeah. So that means I recognize Northern Cyprus is another country, and I'm letting you stop my passport from my own country in order for me to let me go and see my home. Oh my God. Okay, so. So, so yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so Van, okay, you're gonna ask still us about Balkan history. We need a whole new episode for that. No Balkan oh, yeah. history today, yeah. It, it's but, a lot so, in the Balkan history. Okay, so you yeah. need to leave your passport, <laughs> but what about for us, the people that are traveling there? Is it? It's, a, it's the same for everyone. It's the same for everyone. So if you want to go to, okay. So until 2004, yeah, <laughs> there was a wall. Oh, like Berlin a wall? wall? Like, 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 yes, like a wall crossing like the whole part of Cyprus. So, so the whole northern and other part from Cyprus was divided by you mean wall. Like, and like then the to... same wall that Donald Trump wanted to build for Mexico. Yes, that one? Ex- oh exactly okay. that, that wall. Uh, so they made it that wall, and you, I, re- I remember that because I was very young, but I remember it. they used to be like those tiny, like these windows. And there, there was an army there. It was, like, it was an army base, and you could go and just see the other part for these tiny windows. And after two thousand four, they decided to open those those borders. And in order to do that, you need to show your passport, so you need to recognize that it's another country. So it's like a trick that Turkey does to say, you know, come to us. Like we have cheaper stuff. We have people go to buy cheaper cigarettes. Like it's this kind of situation that's happening. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want to go too political, but yeah, let's it's not just go some facts that are happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. But okay. <laughs> overall, right now, 2021, mm. is it safe? It's safe, and, and actually, yeah, I feel very happy that I, I I was born in Cyprus because it's a very safe country. Other than Turkey yeah. <laughs> situation, other than that, everything is. It's a really good country to 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 live in, and we have the sea, we have good quality of life, we have amazing food. It, it's such a small country, so everybody knows everyone. So we have this culture of a family. So wherever you go, you're gonna find someone who knows someone of your family. Well, everyone knows. <laughs> okay, different. how many people live in Cyprus? Now I just search is one around one point two million. One point two million. All right, like Sofia, yeah. roughly. I remember when it was like Nigeria. half. Half. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh dear! Yes. Wow, really? It was half when, exactly. like, yes. I, I remember it was. It was around. Yeah, yeah. When I was born, like at the beginning of the two thousands. Oh my god! Yeah. Now we have a lot of really, people like you're, you're, from all over the world, actually. I was just going to say you're either doing a really good job over there in Cyprus, or you're bringing <laughs> a lot of foreigners. Either way, yeah, it, it, it's both. <laughs> both. Okay. Both. Good job. Okay. So. Yeah. It was kind of a good brief introduction about Cyprus and what's the situation over there and how you know it evolved in a way. Um, mm-hmm. What about sightseeing? Let's start with sightseeing. 
What can mm -hmm. we see in Cyprus? Okay, uh, there's a lot. Can I just say a few fun facts about Cyprus? Please, I, think, I encourage you. I think you. they're interesting. <laughs> and I that. think the, the first one will, will hit you a little bit. So do you know how many days of sun Cyprus has on average? Um, free, for sure 300 something. So I would say 341. Mm -hmm. You're good. We have from around 300 to 340 days. Ooh. And then do you know how many days London has? <laughs> uh, sunny days that, you're talking about. That's amazing, yes. Uh, not a lot. We always joke that we have two weeks of summer. Um, yeah. I would say, I would say 24. <laughs> Internet says 61. 61. All right, interesting. Yeah, generous. but it says generous. in 2019, for 63 days, you didn't have sun at all, like nothing, <laughs> which yeah. it's scary to think. It is. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Um, Thanks for bringing yeah, that up. Other than that, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, it's very sunny now. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say, look, we have sun. Yeah. It's all fake. Okay, so uh, between yeah. 320 and 340 per year, yeah. sunny. That's mm -hmm. astonishing. Okay, yeah. that was a great so fact. I, I was I was in the January that I was in Cyprus for New Year's. I was I was going to the beach like three times in January. Please stop! Please stop! Uh, Let's <laughs> Come on. So yeah, Cyprus is pretty small. <laughs> That's the thing. But the good thing about it is you can do the whole island in a few hours. Like I think it's two hundred and forty kilometers like long. Okay. Like that's the whole country. Uh, so it's very easy to go from mountain to the sea in less than half an hour. So that's really cool. And and some other things. Uh, yeah. Cyprus was also awarded and for the cleanest beaches in Europe. We have like the cleanest waters. And that's great. Wherever you go, you're going to see like, imagine like water, crystal clear water. <laughs> well, that's not a that's fact it. that's going to bring people <laughs> in. I don't know what else. <laughs> beaches and clean water great great and amazing food can i say this again <laughs> imagine yeah. our food is a combination of greek turkish and arabic food all together mm, nice i'm gonna ask you about some meals your yeah. favorite two or three favorite meals after that but let's okay. let's focus on sightseeing okay. i'm curious about sightseeing like what yes. can we see uh we have i mean as i said we have the cleanest waters so you can find beach in every like wherever you go in the island we're an island so you can find amazing waters all around you go and like we have some beaches that have been awarded for being like the best and even in the world and like for cleanest waters we have some beaches as well that they protect the carreta carreta turtles and for example you can go and visit them but you cannot put umbrellas or anything you can just go around them and you can swim to, uh, with them, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And we have some gorges as well. Do you know Gorge? Like the yeah. Grand Canyon thing where the, yes, we have these, we have a few actually of, of those and they're pretty amazing. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, beaches. So, yes. okay, so hold on, <laughs> you, island. You, you can also Link. type Agia Napa if you want, or Protaras. Okay. Okay, I was just going to say, because island, yeah. beaches, clean beaches everywhere. Okay, I was just going to say, which are your mm -hmm. favorite, you know, places? Okay. You say Napa. I'm, mm -hmm. it, it's even there, you can, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Agia Napa. Amazing. I mean, you can just see <laughs> how no, the world looks on. like. Is, isn't Agia Napa, <laughs> Napa quite touristy? I mean, it's a whole city, so it has a part. So imagine it's like the Ibiza of Cyprus or Mykonos of Cyprus. Uh, so of course we have the part where uh, there are many bars and there are many clubs and it's chaotic and many drunk British people. And of course this is happening, but it's also the part with it's full of beaches all around. And you, you can see it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Like wherever you go, you cannot find, you know, something bad, bad. And one of my personal uh, place is Paphos. Paphos, which I think, okay. yes, it is very nature city. Like for me, um, you can yes. I have heard about Paphos. I know about the Gia Napa. Yeah. Why? Because Bulgarian football mm -hmm. clubs they go and have their winter okay. preparation over there in the Gia Napa. <laughs> and how I heard about okay. they Paphos, know what they're because, doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> 
and how I know about Paphos is a lot of Bulgarians go and work there in restaurant and hotels. Okay. Okay. Oh, That's we are awesome. full of hotels. Full of hotels. You cannot understand. We we I live in the tourism. I thought you're going to so. say we're yeah. full of Bulgarians. <laughs> oh, no, not those many. I have friends, but not this many, I would say. <laughs> we have many Armenians. Okay. And yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, we have like a place that is called Blue Lagoon, that is literally like Blue Lagoon, and you can only access it with a boat or with like a um, 404 cars through the mountain. Um, you can yes, access only by it. boat, and then what else did you say? Yeah, from the mountain, but only with special cars, like 404 cars. Okay, mm, Blue Lagoon. Yeah. Okay. And it's it's very amazing. Uh, we also have some. We don't have lakes. We have like one or two lakes, but we have yeah. some salt lakes. And the fun fact about the salt lakes: they gather fl flamingos. Well, what? So, you have like, flamingos? See, like yeah, like and for us, we're like yeah, sure, we have flamingos every like twice a month, like twice a year. And then flamingos became a thing. We're like, but why we have them? You know, <laughs> here I, I can show you pictures when I was there, like in May. <laughs> Like thousands okay. of flamingos, you cannot understand. It's, it's very beautiful. And many photographers come as well just to photograph them. Okay, well, that's an interesting thing to see flamingos over yeah. there, right? It's not just the beaches yeah. that you're going. So when are the flamingos there? Which, which month? Whenever I think it's not in the hottest month. So I think around May, I, I want to say May. May, okay. So and May. maybe in September, October or something. Okay, with, with that said, what do you think yeah. is the best, because you said a lot of sunny days, hot weather, mm -hmm. when would you say is the best time to visit Cyprus, combining good temperature mm -hmm. and not so many people? Mm -hmm. May and September, for me, are the favorites, because it can get hot, and when I say hot, like, for, like, this, like yesterday was 42, my mom said, we're dying, we're so dying? It, 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 it gets very hot. <laughs> Okay, so basically, uh, so, when the yeah. flamingos are there, follow the flamingos. Yeah, exactly. The flamingos know what they're doing. So okay. <laughs> you never go wrong with the flamingos. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I see. Can I say one more fun fact with Cyprus? Of course, please go ahead. We have more cats than humans. So we have more than <laughs> one and a half million cats. <laughs> where, yes. is, where are these facts coming from? More cats than it's, humans. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and we actually have a place that it used to be an old monastery and they turned it into yeah. like a cat sanctuary or something. And you can go there and I think actually uh, Nas and Aline went there and they made a video as well. And there are like thousands of cats and they take care of them, like people there. And, and people can just go and visit and it's, it's great. <laughs> if you like oh. cats, of course. Oh dear. Okay. So oh, did you say <laughs> there's a specific place that the cats are having fun? Yeah, it's like a monastery. Monastery of cats. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, do you have any <laughs> other facts that you're going to shock me? This, this was quite un unexpected. Oh, wow. We have an island, the, an animal that only exists in Cyprus. Which is? Oh, that's a, yeah, yeah that, that's a monastery. It's called, no, it's called uh, Agrino. So it's like a wild sheep with like very big uh, horn thing. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let, let's forget about that. I just found the cats. So hold on. Century, <laughs> yeah. this looks like a couple of old people taking care of all these cats. Is that the case? Kind of. But, but they have like some organization that they help them and they bring food and everything. I think those people just run the place and they have organizations help them out. And there are people going there and help the volunteers. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, some people are... Who, who's that? C C Spiros... Still, okay, people are enjoying the chat. Yeah, Cyprus, Cyprus, yeah. Tell me, have you been to the cat century? It uh, it seems like a, a old lady or two old ladies like, oh, okay, look, there is a cat on the street. Let's take it. Oh, there is another one. Let's take it. Oh, another one. Let's one. take it. And then turn into 100. How many cats are here? Do you know? Thousands. There are thousands of cats. Okay. <laughs> pretty, pretty interesting hobby. Pretty interesting it's hobby. Crazy. Um, yeah. Okay. That's great. So bottom line, go in May, May and September, visit the beaches, go to the mm -hmm. Blue Lagoon, and also uh, go to see the cats, right? 
Perfect. Yes. <laughs> tell me That's now. That's Cyprus. <laughs> okay. That's Cyprus. Yeah. But tell me now about the food, right? You, you said there is a beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, food. What I'm interested in, where can we eat? What are your favorite yes. places and your favorite okay. dishes? Okay. So as I said, we have like pretty great food uh, and we are meat lovers. We're a country of like, we, li we like our meat. Um, so we, I can even share my screen if you want. Or you can share your screen. I can tell you, you can type. Tell me, tell me what to look uh, So this is, so we have our own version. You know, in Greece, they have gyros. And gyros, which like is... Okay, gyros. Like a donor, like shower, man. Yes. They keep this bad. Yes, I uh, we have our own you. version in that. Yes. Yeah. So what I was going to say that the gyros is basically like a donor kebab that, you know, yeah, most people yeah. are familiar with okay mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. your version is called you told me souvlaki but souvlaki isn't the one on the stick i thought that's souvlaki so so we call it souvlaki yeah with like a lot of so it's this <laughs> so we take this big pita bread and we fill with meat and some salad and we also have cheftalia with our traditional kebab but it's not exactly kebab <laughs> Okay, you're not helping us here. You're not helping us with explanations. I'm getting more confused. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, so you, you can type the chef Talia. I send you. I send you in the yeah in in the chat here. Um, yes. Yes. Okay, that's it. What is it? <laughs> it doesn't look the best, but it tastes. Oh my god, it's. It's okay, so okay, okay, this describe it. So describe we have this it. kind of barbecue. We have this kind of barbecues that we that we put like the, the charcoal and we put it on and you know you have all these smells that it, it, it's amazing. Um I'm, like, I'm I'm trying to think more food now. Oh my god, Cypriot food. I mean explain me yeah. about this. This chef talia. So it's minced meat, it's minced meat. Yeah. With onion inside and parsley. And so the white thing that you see around is yeah. uh, how you call that? Like, uh, it's, it's not fat exactly. It's coming from the, oh my God, <laughs> from animal parts. Oh, is that the in, 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 intensive? Intensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I'm like, yeah, I couldn't find the name. Yes, exactly. It's that. So it gives great taste. Okay, so you put it on top and then and it's kind of it. juicy inside. It's not fully like uh one like the kebab, but it's like fully, you know. <laughs> okay, so this is this you need is to favorite. come. You need to come and try. Okay, I like the I like the invitation. I take it. I'll come one day yeah. to Cyprus. I promise. <laughs> so hold yeah. on. So uh, this basically cheftalia is yeah one of the best things every yeah you can only find it in Cyprus actually like this. So whenever I go to Cyprus like. I, I need to eat it at least a couple of times. <laughs> you only can find it in Cyprus, not even in Greece. You cannot yeah. find it in Greece. Mm, maybe in supermarkets, but now they started to selling it. But like it's a Cypriot product, you know. Wow! Look at you. You have your own meal. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Of course. Okay. And then we have halloumi. <laughs> you might know that from halloumi. From I love halloumi. I love halloumi. Okay, so halloumi wow. is Cypriot, okay? M many countries say there's like some Arab and whatever, but I mean, come on, we have our own Cypriot halloumi. Okay, so your halloumi is special, much better. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Can I find your halloumi <laughs> outside of Cyprus? Of course you can, yeah. But it's not the same as you can find of it in course. Cyprus. Of course, it's not the Like same. the fresh one, the nice one. <laughs> okay, so Slovakia and uh cheftalia we need to try yes. what are the yes. best places to try them where should we go to eat there's so okay. many places really like it's like if you've been to greece you've seen that there's a year's place in other like every corner that's the situation with like in greece you, you, in cyprus it's kind of the same situation yeah like it's, it's in each neighborhood in each you know <laughs> okay but all right every, every, everywhere you go i think you'll find great Everybody, what? Every, every, anywhere you go, I think you'll find a really great food. And our seafood is great as well, which I should mention this as well. We're an island. <laughs> we have good fish. Okay, somebody's sharing a link here. Unfortunately, I don't think we can open links uh, oh. here in chat. I'm not sure if this is a spam, actually. 
But somebody's enjoying. Puffles. I think it's it says Chef Talia. No, I know this guy. Hi, Mario. From hey, Mario. <laughs> you like Chef Talia as well. So, is, is there a, every Cypriot person loves Chef Talia? Is that the case? Uh, Spiros can say. I see he's in the chat as well. He's from Paphos. <laughs> he can tell us what he likes. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that was. Can great. I also now, say Shakira yes. bought a house in Cyprus in Paphos? Come on. Yes, and it became a thing, and everybody was like, "What? Why?" <laughs> but yeah. When when was that? Is that recent? A few years ago. A few years ago, like maybe 2018 or something. Oh my god. Ago. And the real yeah. estate is popping up over there. They know. They know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, well, I think I we we learned we learned history. We <laughs> learned about you know what to see, where where to go, you know when, uh, what to eat as well. <laughs> so, do you think there is something that we missed? But but it's worth um, a little bit of like more recent stuff. Uh, Cyprus is really trying to become a tech island, and they're really trying with many startups. And maybe you can know like Cyprus have like low taxes as well, which is helping a lot of small companies to to come in Cyprus. And there are also many trading and forex companies that I see like that's a big rise as well. Uh, well many uh, so, forex companies yeah. are establishing now yeah. in Cyprus. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a thing like really like many israeli ones as well uh but no like they're, they're they're giving many benefits to to startups and people who want to start their business in cyprus so that's really great because i think it's a great outsourcing. country to live outsourcing yeah, yeah. by the way look at <laughs> look at spiros he says that afro yes. aphrodite's bath Aphrodite's bath. Yeah. Happening. so the god you know goddess aphrodite yeah, right? Aphrodite. Greek yeah, mythology. yeah. so she support she was born in cyprus no way. and we have like a place yes yeah, so we have a place that is the birthplace of aphrodite and the baths of Ap aphrodite that's another beach and yes there's like a big rock that they say okay aphrodite was born from there she she rose from the the waves and yeah <laughs> okay but what is it it's just like a, it looks like a waterfall okay these are the baths uh you should type uh aphrodite's rock aphrodite's what rock oh rock yes because that's what spirit said he said and petra to romeo yeah that's the aphrodite that's aphrodite's rock, that. that's aphrodite's rock. Spiros, that's aphrodite's you rock. swap places <laughs> with eva <laughs> <laughs> yes spirit knows more <laughs> okay so this is the rock so that's where aphrodite was born yeah on the rock um yeah she came, <laughs> she came out from there i don't know yeah that, that's the story actually <laughs> okay I so mean, it's the mythology so where is, where is that yeah. actually which part of the island this is at the beginning of Paphos. okay so if you yeah if you settle in Paphos, but even if you don't settle in Paphos, you know you said it's that great in cyprus to take a car usually actually because yeah. it's so small and there's so many places to visit like that's what i recommend for everybody to do Hmm. Yeah, that was. Just, yeah. I was just going to say that that even though if if even if you're not in Paphos, if you decide to go somewhere else, mm. you can straight away take a car. While I went to Creta, which is a Greek island, mm. and I was thinking, you know, I landed in the airport, which is in the middle of the island, and then we drove. Heraklion. Uh -huh. Yeah. Exactly, Heraklion, and we drove not so far from there. We we stayed somewhere, and then I I was like, oh, okay, we just you know we have a car. We're gonna travel to the west, we to east, and then when I checked. You need to travel. I think it was five hours one way towards the west. I'm like, what? I mean, I I, I know. Yeah, it's quite long. It's more than because it's it's kind of mountainous and like yeah. the island doesn't have you know proper proper highways. I'm actually going there next week. I'm going to Crete, uh, uh -huh. and, and we're renting a car and with a tent. So we're gonna do like the whole uh, you know trip around the island because you yeah. need to. You need more than actually. Yeah, I think you need more than three hours to go like to the other city. Which is crazy for such a small island. Like an island, like half the size of Cyprus, or even smaller. <laughs> it's yeah. just so like Cyprus. This, you know, so with Cyprus, you don't have that problem. You just rent a car, walk around anywhere. Okay. All right. Go well, around. perfect. Uh, I think we we covered a lot. Um, I think we can talk a lot. <laughs> but yeah. I like to keep to keep this podcast, you know, crisps, you know, as short as possible, so we don't take much time, with people. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, is there something that we missed? Once again, like, last thing that we, we missed, oh. but we need to have. 
Are you scrolling through your notes now? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Don't give me out. <laughs> Don't give me out like that. Um, I don't know, like, I, to, to be honest, I, I appreciated Cyprus now that I went this year. And because I, when I, when you're born to, like, a specific country, you're like, okay, you're, you're used to specific stuff. And it's okay. Yeah. Every country has a beach. Every country has, like, this and this and that. And I met people who have never been to the beach. And I'm like, Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. that was my... Bl- people who live in Cyprus have yes. never been to no, the no, beach? No, not from Cyprus. No, 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 from other countries. Ah. Okay. So, so I'm saying bit. that I was doing, <laughs> I was taking many things from Grant and from Cyprus that I thought, yeah. you know, it's casual to have like amazing beaches and perfect sunny weather and, yeah. you know, the country like working like these standards and everything. So I really, really appreciated Cyprus, and I think it's it's not sad, but more people should know about it because I've visited many European countries and were like Cyprus, like what's that? Where is that? Like. You know, they had no idea. And I'm like, why? We should we should do more about that because it it deserves that. It's, it's a really beautiful country. I'm so happy that you're ending on that note because I, I, was, I felt the same about Bulgaria. I started creating my content in English with one of the purposes of that was to gather some audience and then introduce them to Bulgaria. Because Bulgaria That's has good. mountains, it has sea, caves, woods, you know, a forest, yeah. like everything, has literally everything. Yeah. But yeah. people overlook it because it's a small country and then they have some bad reputation from other people that they hear talking mm. like, oh, okay, okay, no thanks. However, yeah. that's not the case. So it's up to us, Eva. It's up to us to promote these countries. But something else as well. Um, yeah. pe- people forget, you know, they take for granted what's happening with their, you know, with, with their surrounding because I used to travel mm. more abroad rather than in Bulgaria. So now, every time I go back to Bulgaria, <laughs> I know, right? Every time I go back yes, to Bulgaria yeah. now, I make sure I book at least five, six days to explore something I haven't explored before. And I always mm-hmm. take, and, and I take my parents and they're like, oh, okay. they're enjoying that as well. And we go mountains, yeah. we go, no, not mountains, because I, I want to keep it easy for them. But we go caves, we go <laughs> waterfalls. And it's so difficult to travel with a content creator because they're like, okay, how long, how long more in this cave? <laughs> But yeah, it, it's up to us. So it's up I, to I us. I feel to the promote. same. I feel the same. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's up to us to promote our places, and it's up to us mm-hmm. to start exploring our backyard and not just going to yeah. Paris and Colorado. Madrid. Yeah. I've never been to Paris. Can it's... I say that? Oh. I've been to India, and I haven't been to Paris. Oh. No. <laughs> don't don't go. Okay. You don't need it. You don't need okay, it. Okay. Really, you okay. You don't need it. Okay, go to Bulgaria <laughs> instead. I will, I will. It's closer and it's nice. You come to Cyprus cheaper. for sure, for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes. when, once I get there, I'll definitely let you know. Hopefully, you, know, you won't be in Serbia. Okay, with that note, I think we can close it up. Uh, I, I would like to thank everybody who participated in the live. Uh, thank you for the inputs. Spiros, send me a message. Maybe we can arrange something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks, thanks, Eva. I wish you a fantastic day over there in Serbia. You too. Bye bye. Thank you.